Hi guys, this is Evan. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the coastline paradox and the fractals. So before you click away, please stick with me for a few minutes. I promise it's going to be really interesting, and I will speak quickly so I won't waste your time. Okay, have you ever wondered how long the longest coastline really is? Seems like a simple question, right? And have you ever heard that the pyramid of a snowflake? Could be longer than the diameter of the entire Earth. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? So today we're diving into a fascinating mathematical mystery that can explain why these things happen. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the coastline. Back in late 19th century, there was an adventurous explorer named L. F. Richardson, and he decided to measure the length of the coastline of Britain. Mm, sounds straightforward, right? Just grab a measuring stick and start walking. But here's a catch. Recently found that the shorter the measuring stick he used, the longer the coastline appears to be. It was mind-boggling. So no matter how precisely he tried to measure, the coastline just kept getting longer and longer. This puzzling discovery is what we now call the coastline paradox. So, what's going on there? Why does the coastline keep getting longer with a smaller measuring stick? Well, the coastline is not smooth and straight line. It is full of twists and turns, big and small. The more detailed your measurement, the more of these twists and turns you capture and the longer the coastline appears. It's like trying to measure the edge of a crumbled piece of paper. The smaller ruler you use, the more wrinkles you measure, and the longer the edge becomes. But there's more to it. This is not just about coastline. This idea of capturing more detail that the closer look is a key part of something we call fractals. All right, let's dive into what fractals really are. A fractal is a complex shape that looks the same then no matter how much you zoom in or out. Mm, imagine that you have a shape and you zoom in and no matter how close you look, you keep seeing the same pattern. It's like a uh, never-ending loop of detail. A pretty cool, right? Now let's look at some examples in nature. Um, take snowflake, for instance. Each snowflake has a unique, intricate pattern. But if you keep looking on the small part of the snowflake, um, you will see that the smaller parts look a lot like the whole snowflake. That's a fractal. Another great example is the branching pattern of trees. Look at a big tree. Uh, the branches split into uh, smaller branches, and those split into even smaller branches, and so on. Each smaller branch pattern looks like a miniature version of the whole tree. This self-similar pattern is what makes it a fractal. So fractals are pretty amazing, right? But Here's where it gets even cooler. Let's talk about something called fractal dimensions. Now, don't let the term scare you off. Uh, it's actually something really, really fascinating. Think about dimensions like this. Um, a line is one dimensional, a square is two dimensional, and a cube is three dimensional. But the fractals does not fit neatly into these categories. They exist in between dimensions. Sounds wild, right? One of the coolest examples is something called Cook Snowflake. Mm, you start with a simple triangle, then you end uh, smaller triangles to each side, and you keep adding more triangles to each new side, the more you add, the more complex it becomes. So eventually, uh, it creates a shape that um, more than one 
more than one dimension, I mean more than a line, but let's say a plane. Its dimension is actually about 1.26. Not 1D, not 2D, but somewhere in between. This idea of in-between dimensions help us understand the uh, complexity of fractals. They show us that the dimensions can be continuous, not just the whole numbers. It's like the whole new way of seeing the world. So what have we learned today? First, we found that marrying something as simple as a coastline can lead to some pretty mind-blowing discoveries. The coastline paradox shows that the uh, more detail we measure, uh, the longer it becomes, sex to all those tiny toys and turns. Then we dive into the world of fractals, those crazy self-similar patterns that pop up everywhere in nature, from snowflake to trees. And we discover that the fractals don't fit neatly into the whole number of dimensions. They just live in a space in between. Here's a big takeaway. In different scales, you get different measurements. This shows us that how complex and fascinating our world really is. And it also reminds us that to truly understand the real world, we need to look closer and think differently. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.